Welcome to the jungle, and unfortunately due to the budget cuts we either have fun or games, but not both. Today as we wrap up our series on C, we're talking all about the connections to the world famous Jungle Cruise. World famous for being famous around the world. I'm Chris from Orlando and we have a lot to cover. Click the eye in the corner if you haven't watched the rest of the series so far and let's go! Please do like and subscribe. Please do like and subscribe. Please do like and subscribe. But I, I don't have an end for this bit. Uh, this is why I don't do musical numbers. But please like and subscribe. We're starting today with the man behind the dream of the Jungle Navigation Company, Dr. Albert. Oh, God, why do I always forget the name? Um, uh, Falls. Dr. Albert Falls, that's right. An explorer at heart. Dr. Falls would quickly become known for his ability to navigate the most remote rivers of the world and his sense of humor. Among his many discoveries, he learned about the ancient god Shirley and in 1888 found a lost, half-sunken Cambodian temple. Sure enough, it was Shirley's temple. Yeah, that's a, that's a real chin scratcher there. However, his greatest discovery was along the Nile River when he discovered Schweitzer Falls and the eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water! O2H, O2H, O2H. <laughs> sorry, sorry, that was a chemistry joke. <laughs> I only tell them periodically. They usually get a good reaction. On April 8th, 1911, Albert Falls would found the Jungle Navigation Company, however, not as we recognize it today. When the JNC was first founded, it was just a shipping company moving various goods and supplies to remote locales all over the world. It was pretty much Amazon before Amazon, but also in the Amazon, and it was a serious business. This actually kind of reflects the real life development of the Jungle Cruise. When the Jungle Cruise first opened in Disneyland back in the day, which was a Sunday I believe, it was a more straightforward educational ride, and it failed spectacularly. There was never a wait because who would want to ride an educational thing when they could go ride Mr. Toads again? But one day, Walt Disney was walking around the park as he is wont to do, when he noticed that the Jungle Cruise actually had a surprisingly long line. He wondered what was going on, hopped on a boat, and saw that it was the same ride it had always been. He was confused until he thought, oh, it might be because I'm here, and went to go put on a hat and some street clothes, rode the ride again, and saw that the skipper was telling jokes now that the boss wasn't around. When he got off, he found one of the managers and asked if all the skippers were telling jokes, and the manager was going to write the skipper up, as they are wont to do, but Walt stopped him and said, no, we doing that now, and that skipper was Robin Williams. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. But it'd be cool if it was, wasn't it? I don't know why he did that. But Robin Williams was a skipper, so I guess we could throw his name on the list of C members too. Before we go any further with the Falls family, I want to sidetrack to Hong Kong Disney during Halloween to who is undoubtedly the most controversial member of C. Yes, even more than Harrison Hightower III because this man was actually kicked out of C by Lord Henry Mystic for his actions. So you know he got up to some serious sh**. <laughs> and that man is Garrett Reed. Arrival to Indiana Jones, Reed was kicked out of sea for massive grave robbing and selling his ill-gotten goods on the black market. But lately, he set his sights on a new prize, the Emerald Trinity, a set of emeralds that legends say if you can escape the jungle with even one, it will grant you immortality, but fail, and you will suffer a fate worse than death. I did mention this was a Halloween story and Hong Kong doesn't pull its punches like America does. So Reed steals a Jungle Cruise boat and heads off and you are tasked with finding him. The jungle has changed with eerie green mist and vines growing everywhere and all the animals are missing. You find the altar of the Emerald Trinity only to find that two of them are missing. You find Reed's camp where it's revealed he has one of the emeralds but is attacked by vines that quickly drag him under the ground and reclaim the gem. Oh, and your skipper has the other missing emerald, so uh, have fun dying everyone! Anyway, back to the original Jungle Cruise and fast forward two generations and the good Dr. Albert Falls has gone missing after taking a left turn at the falls when we all know you need to turn right! And his granddaughter, 
Alberta Falls has taken over the JNC. Alberta inherited her family's love for adventure, traveling all over the world from Cairo to Mystic Point. However, then the Great Depression hit, and the JNC started to take a hit. Alberta knew that a change had to be made, so in addition to moving cargo, she started using the boats to move people as well. The problem there is that these skippers have spent weeks, months even, on the river, alone, talking to themselves. And they might have gone a little... loopy. And now that they have people they have to entertain, they fall back on the jokes that they tell themselves that only they found funny. During this time, Alberta would also open up the Falls family home slash JNC headquarters slash secret sea meeting area hidden behind a bookcase to weary travelers looking for food as a jungle navigation skipper canteen. Alright. Here's the thing, this restaurant, this frickin' restaurant has so many different little easter eggs and nods to pretty much everything at Disney canon, mostly in this bookshelf. And, you know, there's not even members of C in these books, so I'm not gonna be talking about every little easter egg here. I'm gonna sing about it instead. On a mansion, Everest, Bengal Baku, you the best, Mystic Mare, Discovery Bay, Indiana Jones. Pleasure Island, Davy Crockett, Tower Terror, Thick the Plummet, Tiki Room, Manahorn, Rocket to the Moon. Ichabod and Mr. Toad, roll in motion, hit the road, on land of Stumbo, oh my god, there's so much more. All these are connected to see. We got all this lore, and there's so much more. All these are connected to see. Explore the world while the story unfolds. Misadventure, Star Lord, Island at the top of the world, Lion King, Dream Finder, Main Street, USA, Adventureland, Bazaar, Aladdin, All My Lord, Sleeping Beauty, Toy Story, 20,000 Leagues, Star Wars, Sunset Tree, Timekeeper, OMG, Fancy Land, For the Wind, Pirates of the Caribbean, all these are connected to sea. We got all this lore, and there is so much more, all these are connected to sea. For the world, while the story unfolds, all these are connected to see. We got all this more, and there's so much more. All these oh dear God, if that doesn't deserve to describe, I don't know what does. But that, I believe, covers all of our bases for now. There's no telling what new little nuggets about Sea will uncover from all the new Jungle Cruise updates, or if the movie will do anything. But that's where we're at now. But stuff like this right here is why I love Disney parks. It's because they have this incredible story that if you have a base knowledge, it's good. But if you start digging, oh man, it's a gold mine. Don't forget to hit that like and share button if you enjoyed that video. And hit that subscribe button as well to help spread the word. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Links in the description down below. I'm Crystal Orlando and uh, please don't sue me, Billy Joel. I loved you and Oliver and company. Take care, y'all. One love. Don't hurt nobody.